he was as green as any quarterback ever coming in. He didn't play in a year. And then he comes in in 2021 and he hurts his finger. And Zane, you were talking about the injuries. Hurts his finger and his finger wasn't right for a really long time. So he gets hurt right away. And then he gets a start and he hurts his knee. So he was pretty much banged up the whole his whole first season. And then he comes back in 2021 and it's supposed to be his team. And we talked about there's still expectations. there, Or I should say there were expectations of this team that were lower because we didn't know what he was because he hadn't played in forever. And you could even see the way Kyle was using him. He was using him as a runner and less of a thrower. So he gets hurt again. So now it's three pretty significant injuries. The third one was a major injury, and he hasn't had any time on the field whatsoever. And the big quote to me here was, he's not as skilled as a runner as the Niners had hoped. Well, what the hell were you looking at? Because I can tell you watching him run once, he's he's a clunky runner. He runs yeah. into contact. He falls into contact. And when he got hurt, you know, you have everybody who's like, oh, well, I guess Lamar Jackson shouldn't run anymore. I guess Jalen Hurts shouldn't run anymore. That wasn't the point. The point is those guys know how to protect themselves. Trey Lance at this point does not. So he's running, 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 and he doesn't know how to protect himself. And again, we said on the show, he's going to get hurt. Look at the way he runs into contact. He's going to get hurt. He got hurt. So yeah, Trey has to learn to protect himself. But if if you're going into this saying, well, he's got to improve as, as a runner. He's got to improve as a passer. Well, no shit. He hasn't played in three years. You knew he was a project. And I feel like what what was the thought process? Did they not know this was going to be a, a long a long haul type thing? Did they think he was just going to come in and be great? He's very green. He was more of a project. So I understood the Garoppolo thing for for a year, but then the injuries have set him back. And now Purdy comes in, and you're like, whoa, where did this guy come from? So he's had a really rough go of it. And now I feel like there's kind of some unfair criticism of someone who just how can he have these things? He doesn't have the reps. We knew what he was coming in. He was physically gifted sort of ball of clay that you can mold. He's not someone like Purdy who's coming in as a four-year starter with 1,400 pass attempts. He's not that dude. So, like, is he more talented than Purdy athletically? Sure. But he doesn't have the reps. And I think what we're seeing now is a little bit unfair to him. 